Hi, so in this video we will learn how we can create an Azure pipeline using the Docker Hub and then deploying it to the AKS that is Azure Kubernetes service. So let's first of all create our Kubernetes cluster. So currently I have one already one cluster is there. I'll create another cluster. I'll create a new resource group that is RG Node.js and go to dev test. So again in this uh, Kubernetes cluster we will deploy a Node.js application. So P PMCube I will name it to 002 and size i'll just mention is two so review and create click on the create button so this may take a little while so meanwhile what we'll do we'll create a docker repository so click on the repository and create a repository and I would give it name as a node 05 click on create then go to the Azure repo again create a new project called node 05 and it will all set then we'll go to the IntelliJ I'll just remove the dot git file so now it is a fresh local repository and now to convert into the git repository I will go for init version and then go back to the repo click on the repo and it will give an instruction just copy and paste over here so now a repository is synced with the remote repository now git add all the files git commit git push and just use this push and check our repo okay so now everything is good so now let's change something related to our project so we have uh, so let's I will go through this whole project structure we have a chart chart they are the use for the ham chart which has a template and the value file and in the value file we change it to node 5 and we have a load balancer which is pointing to 80 and if you go to the deployment then again the container port is 80 so that is where our application dot app dot js is running so again it is a simple app dot js is as a one endpoint that is hello we just print hello world from Azure CI CD pipeline and our application will run on 80 on the pod and then we have a docker file docker file is a very simple file which is has a base image and then we are working directory we are copying the package of JSON and then we'll start with the app.js and we have a package JSON it's very simple it is a starting point again showing as a edges Anyways, now if you go for Azure pipeline, this is the YML pipeline I already have previously. So it has nothing fancy except for this trigger one none. So this is a manual trigger and agent pool on which the pipeline will be running. It's an Ubuntu because our cluster are on the Ubuntu Linux containers. Then we have a two task in the steps. 
So one task is uh, a Docker task that is a CI task which will build and deploy using this command into this node 05 repository. And then we have a CD command that is for deployment using the Kubernetes using one of connection G, GK connection instead of that now we are using the AKS now so we'll use the AKS connection Azure Kubernetes connection and then the chart path using the chart path ham will deploy or upgrade the whole application and our release name would be a node 0 5 so now let's git status git commit first commit and git push okay so it should be there now our uh, azure pipeline just let's double verify docker connection there and aks connection there everything is there now because we re we are these are the two external external or we can say our internal but from the pipeline perspective the kubernetes service is a different service and then we have a docker so we require two service connection so let's first try on a um, service connection that is related to docker and where is the docker docker registry is here click on the next click on the docker hub enter your credentials verify it verify and successful grant access and give the docker name verify and save okay so now we'll create uh, another service connection for the kubernetes and it, because it is inside the same portal just enter your password so now here we have changed this node.js cluster and then namespace as default and connection is AKS connection grant all so this should create our service connection related to the AKS that is helpful for don't find any secret associated with service account are we going to create any secret? Okay. So, did our cluster has successfully run? Okay, let's check the connection and we can try create the credentials so let's again try okay so what is the problem we have python should not be any problem but we'll again try AKS and grant permission
ओके लेट्स गो विथ सर्विस कैन सर्विस अकाउंट और इफ आई गो विथ जे सी पी वर्क डजेंट मैटर वॉट आई विल डू इज क्यूब सी टी एल गेट नोट क्यूब सी टी एल अप्लाई एफ एस ए सो नाउ इट हैज क्रिएटेड सीक्रेट बट स्टिल विल ट्राई अगेन and if it is not creating this time then we will find another way okay let's find a different way there is a service account okay so now again we will double check this one yeah it is the same i guess but still we will get it okay so now we need a secret so go here and the command prompt namespace we do not have and then secret is the secret name deploy as a secret and just copy this json and we'll try to save so our aks connection has been saved now go to the pipeline repo and double verify all look good docker connection aks count 45 okay so now let's try to run the pipeline create the pipeline select the repo and the pipeline is ready let's try to run so this pipeline may take a uh, 2 to 3 minutes or maybe a couple of minutes max so pipeline got started i'll pause the video for a couple of minutes and we'll come back so our pipeline got success so check in the helm list successfully deployed kubectl get all so we have we have a pod is running so just check the logs so log is working fine so we have a load balancer so try this load balancer copy and copy into the browser slash hello so yes we got and output message that hello world from azure ci cd pipeline so we have successfully built and deployed into the azure node using the node js application and using the azure aks and again using the docker repository so that's it for this video but before we close we should make sure that we don't forget to delete the kubernetes service delete it okay so i'll delete every kubernetes service so that we should be clear about it. so that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in the next video